Hey guys, see to eat review here. Does this face look familiar? That is right there. <laughs> we welcome. That. It's not Scott Murphy. It's actually Tom Whiston to see to eat review. Tom, welcome. Thank this you so much for having Beautiful location me. we're here. I know. Migration Museum. I've never seen a show here, but I'm looking forward to it. Tom, tell us what you're bringing to the Adelaide Fringe this year. So I'm bringing my show, Scott Murphy, yet another wacky sailboat adventure. Uh, it's a character comedy hour. Uh, with a bit of clowning in there. It's uh, quite audience interaction heavy, uh, following a sailing instructor from New Zealand who, <laughs> oh, he's had a bit of a rough time of it. Uh, one of his boys has gotten pregnant and he has to figure out whether or not he's gonna step up and take care of the wee baby boy or one of the boys uh, sail not, away from his problem. One of the boys, not one of the buoys? One of the buoys. <laughs> I, I think you may have stumbled on one of the core jokes oh, in the no. show. I'm so sorry, I've spoiled it. <laughs> Trying to be my own comedian during the show. <laughs> Yet another wacky sailboat adventure means you had a sailboat adventure before this. Did you bring that to the fringe last time around? I, I did a one-off of it in uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it was called Scott Murphy Sailing Lessons. It yes. was much more of a straight up, this character is taking you on a sailing lesson. I mean, you know, it's a show, so mm -hmm. fun, fun stuff happens uh fun stuff a dog dies uh, yeah. there you go uh, when did you develop this character when did this where did scott murphy arise from are you a sailor yourself yeah so i grew up sailing my my, my whole family's sort of sailing and I, my uh, dad you're not the, a new zealander obviously no so. no 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 i mean <laughs> that came because i was listening to a hell of a lot of a kiwi podcast oh, okay, there you go. i was gonna I say he's really putting, like the voice he's putting on a, an english accent right now but he's yeah. really new zealand yeah, yeah. no whereabouts in england you're from so i grew up in manchester but uh, my, my whole family family is Scottish, I live in okay. Edinburgh now. There you go. Um, which like makes it. doing the French there yes, very easy for me. Yes, yes. How, how are you accepted down here amongst the Australians? It's interesting. I think people don't think that I am from New Zealand. <laughs> okay, that's... But I've had that people think that I am an Aussie doing a Kiwi accent. Really? And I will take that. <laughs> Jesus, that's quite a bloody mix, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... As I interrupt you, I apologise. Not at all. What is Scott Murphy bringing this year? What is he? What's he going to do? He's got one of his one of his boys is pregnant, and then what do we go from there? So it's a uh, it's essentially a romp through. Um, it's essentially a romp through the themes of what is terrifying about okay. fatherhood. Yes. Um, the whole show kind of comes from this uh, place where a friend of mine. Um, got his girlfriend pregnant mm -hmm. and didn't know what to do they, okay. they started fighting and uh, the show is based on this kind of experience of you have this thing that it seems more important than yes. any of the personal relationships or you know how you sort of feel which is the baby you know yes um, has your friend seen the show uh, no. Oh, does he know about the show? <laughs> he does. He has signed off on it. Um, I uh, we, we we don't speak too much anymore. Okay. Um, maybe for obvious reasons. Oh. Once you see the oh, show. Oh shit! <laughs> As a father of two, I will be taking notes. I'll be <laughs> adding my notes after the show to you because fatherhood is bloody terrifying. <laughs> I tell you what. So it's gonna be bringing something oh, a little bit real to the Adelaide Fringe, isn't it? Uh, I mean, you know, it's as real as you can get while I'm cradling a, a, a balloon with a face. Oh, it gives a sport that everyone's probably thinking there's going to be a real baby involved in that <laughs> show as well. Uh, there might be a couple of surprises. Uh, you've got an hour show. Mm -hmm. You say a bit of comedy, a bit of circus? I would say I said circus street. Less circus, more clowning in the sense of, uh, you know, you play games with the audience. Yep. So oh, you've got, uh, you know, I've, I've got things that people have to do at certain points and uh, little sort of like, yeah, I, uh, games is the best Don't way spoil of, it. That's of, cool. of saying it. Now, guys in the audience, oh, participate. Be nice. Don't try <laughs> to be funnier than the person on stage. It grinds the show to a halt, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, that's my piece. Tom's not saying nothing. I, I, I will take whatever audience I get and yes. uh, I will be very, very happy to deal with whoever I receive on stage. <laughs> Come along, support, I was gonna say local talent. Worldly talent, guys. Oh, oh, oh. It's a smaller show in the? Chapel at the Migration Museum. Is that? That is, uh, that's the yurt. That's the yurt Chapel there. over there. The yurt, that's, oh, no, I was gonna say that's what young people say is yurt, but they say yeet, don't they? Yeah, they say yeet. That's a, uh, Ah, uh, the Jewish kids say yurt, do they or not? I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he's in a chapel, he's got know, nothing I'm to not do Jewish. with the yurt. <laughs> nothing, I've just distracted myself entirely. Scott, Scott, Jesus. Tom, 
Tell us the dates, tell uh, us the times, tell us the place. Don't, don't worry, everyone has been doing oh, it for the past. Uh, my, my Uber Eats is still registered as Scott. So <laughs> if you want to know my day, guys, as I said to Tom, like meet at the Migration Museum. Cool, no worries. Yeah, I'm, I'm early. I'm good. No, I'm standing outside the Masonic Lodge for ten minutes before I realise I'm on North Terrace when I should be down here. Anyway, we've recovered. Tom's hearing all my problems right now as well. <laughs> he doesn't need to hear this. And this look, is not I'm happy to hear, you know, but that will cost more. <laughs> Put a bit of extra money in the kitty. <laughs> Therapists uh, make a lot of moolah. It is. Dates, times. So place. I am on a 7th to the 19th of March, mm -hmm. uh, 2145, uh, 945. Um, and I will be in the chapel at the Migration Museum. I'm not doing the Monday. Uh, but other than that, he needs a break too. Guys. He needs a break too. Oh, it's hard work. What got you into comedy? As I just digress a little bit, um, I had been a massive comedy nerd my entire mm -hmm. life, and you know, living in Edinburgh, you see the fringe, and you you sort of, uh, I'm, I've never been that big a fan of stand up straight. I, yep. I, 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 I like could never of... do it myself. Yep. Um, and I, going and seeing, you know, alternative comedy, mm -hmm. seeing a lot of clowns, and seeing. People doing weird stuff. The um, Mighty Boosh? Mighty Boosh, I grew up on. I grew up on the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> the bartender here. The bartender at the venue uh, knows Bolo. Oh, I know. I know. Man, we still talk about Ram's me. legs. We still talk about Ram <laughs> legs and the moon. So I'm glad he's an influence. So who else are your other influences? Uh, interrupt? I mean, look, you know, the person that I, I wouldn't have been able to do the show without having seen the show of uh, was Kieran Dowd because yes. it was a it was a brilliant character comedy mm -hmm. era I'm not sure he's done Adelaide in a few years but mm -hmm. um, he has this character called Don Rodolfo and it was just pure straight character comedy for an hour mm -hmm. and I absolutely loved it um, but the person who I think has had a biggest influence on my style is probably Zach Zucker okay um, he, I trained uh, with him in clowning and then you know he sort of took me under his wing to do Stamp Town a few times and I mean, that's just that a is, That is a good experience. <laughs> it's fantastic. Did you go to clown school? Uh, only through these sort of courses. Okay. I'm, uh, I had a place to study at Goliath and then uh, in... pandemic happened. And I know a few people went to clown school in plan. France. Yeah, Yeah, that was oh, the one. That was the there one. you go. And everyone's probably looking at it thinking about the Simpsons <laughs> episode where Homer goes to clown school. No, it's actually a proper clowning school. Yeah, proper clown school. How long did you spend there? Uh, so I, I never got to go because oh, of the God. pandemic, sadly. Uh, but I'll be, I, I'm going again this summer for a, a summer course. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> Guys, the so show sounds so much fun too. <laughs> you don't need to like sailboats to watch this show, do you? No, no, no. There just... are a couple of little references. If you're a sailor, you'll know your jib from your spinnaker. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> but other than that, I'm not going to force anyone into a, an uncomfortable position by not having sailed. Are you allowed to bring bananas into the audience? You can bring a banana into the audience. I'm not sure what you're going to want to do with the banana, but uh, you can bring a banana. I bought a banana on a boat once <laughs> and got told off mercifully, mercifully, no, mercifully. Merci, 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 <laughs> anyway, and then, yeah, I had to got told to chuck it off the boat and no one caught any fish that day not my fault but I right, say well now I know that that's a rule you are not allowed to bring bananas into <laughs> <Bad> my show <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys Tom thank you for hearing about all my problems thank hopefully you hopefully through this we got an interview a good interview come see him at the chapel what do we got here we've got the 7th to the 19th of March 2145 that is army o'clock 945 for those who don't know army o'clock Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you so much, Shane. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs>